Hey YouTube, uh, just a quick video on my camera setup for, uh, for, for the track and how I do the overlay. So starting with the, uh, the uh, mounting, I have one mount right on the windshield, uh, you could uh, see right here. And I, I use uh, a double sided tape, let me focus, there you go and uh, so that works well and also have a cord the uh, USB uh, a charging cord connected to the uh, to the dome light area I, I tapped the wire from there to power it and okay so here's another look of the uh, Garmin that's on the front uh, and again I have a wire uh, a charger that's uh, wired to the accessory that I tapped off the uh, this uh, map light area which is uh, which I like so I don't have to worry about batteries okay and then uh, I have a second one uh, mounted on the back uh, windshield through a suction cup as you can see there and uh, what's nice is that with the two Garmin setup it, when I rec activate the recording on the the one on the front it automatically starts the recording on the back which I really like I uh, also have this uh, Bluetooth uh, OBD2 uh, reader that uh, again it's Bluetooth so and it plugs underneath here and it sends the uh, miles per hour and then uh, data the speed temperature to the uh, camera wirelessly which is really nice and again it's real-time uh, data from the OBD2 information okay and then on the outside I also have a this uh, attachment mount GoPro mount as you can see there that I have stuck on the light uh, right there so this just slides, I can attach a GoPro like this, just slides right in. Uh, so, just like that. Uh. Okay, also I have this uh, mount that uh, on the helmet, as you can see here, uh, and so I can attach uh, this GoPro session, and it goes on like this, and it locks in with this lever. So it goes on something like that, as you can see, for a kind of a first-person view. Okay, I also have this GoPro uh, suction cup mount that I've used to attach uh, outside the car, something like this or uh, other location, but so far I've only used it primarily in this location. Okay, I also have some uh, 
various uh, Go GoPro and GoPro-like uh, cameras, as you can see here. Starting with this Hero 3 Black that I've had for a while. And uh, this uh, GoPro 7 that I recently got. That, and, and a generic... Uh, from Amazon these are very inexpensive and works well for for the money these are like only 40 bucks and the older Gar Garmin Verb XE which I've uh, upgraded to the newer version the Ultra 30 that uh, you, you've seen okay I also have this uh, H1N zoom uh, sound recorder that I used to record the uh, exhaust sound because uh, at the track the there's a lot of wind noise with the you're required to roll down your windows and this this car uh, doesn't have a much uh, exhaust sound to begin with so I have this uh, that I place in the engine compartment to record the exhaust and uh, this uh, dead cat to uh, for the wind to filter out the wind noise so I just use a zip tie and that uh, pouch to hold the recorder okay like you see there uh the the uh, dead cat uh, wind noise uh, in the recorders is where I place it uh, so uh, don't laugh but that's what I uh, use to record the sound it does get a little hot in there and uh, but so far so good uh, I am a little worried that uh, it's gonna overheat or uh, or this dead cat uh, will will uh, will burn up and start a fire. So next I import it to my uh, MacBook and then I use the Garmin Verb software which uh, comes with the uh, camera and what's nice is it, it'll sync the two, uh, the two video for me uh, as you, you can kind of see there's two feed here A and B and then uh, here are the different sensors that uh, the OBD2 sensor, uh, you got all these different options that uh, engine RPM, speed, intake, air temp, etc. These uh, are the choices here. And then you can configure the different gauges here. Uh, let's look at some template just to show some uh, different example. And then you can also, let's put it back to this software is a little buggy, but uh, you could also move this uh, window around and move the gauges around as well. And then uh, here is the, you can flip the uh, the two cameras around, uh, for example, uh, like, like that, the, uh, make the, uh, reverse the two cameras, and then you can select the, uh, the source of the G matrix so it works pretty well but except for you know a few bugs okay so here are some of the gauge uh, options you could uh, choose from and uh, pretty easy to use you can just click on it and drag it and move it around you can also adjust the size, but uh, you get the idea. So the last step is I import into the MacBook and then use Final Cut to uh, edit. And uh, again, uh, the Garmin Verb software does have some basic uh, editing feature but uh, it's very limited so uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's it thanks for watching please like and subscribe